All right, so we gotta win the 50-50. <coughs> We've gotta win the 50-50. Okay. Okay. Nice. We're on Itty. We just have to win it. All right, gamers, it's time. Don't troll and win the 50-50. <laughs> Come on, please. Let's get lucky here. Epsilon, do I do a single pull until I get her or do I just do a 10 pull and, and just hope for the best? It's up to you. You're like at pity, so it's up to you. You make your choice. Do a 10 all the way. So you know this is gold, right? You, you know it's a golden. Come on, baby. Let's win that 50-50. Come on. I haven't seen a gold ticket in a while. Win the 50-50. Win the 50-50 is what we're hoping for. Come on now, right here. Let me see that animation. <laughs> now I just got to do that tomorrow on my own account. Let's go. All right. But did we get a Lynx? But did we also snipe the new four-star character? Lynx! Yeah, we did! We may have got a little snipe. Uh, so now we are happy, happy gamers. Epsilon has got the W here. But now the question is, can I take my free-to-play luck and get him the new... Light cone as well! In my first 10 pulls! Imagine. Okay, not so lucky. But, you know, sometimes you gotta build a little pity up. Sometimes you gotta, sometimes you gotta, you gotta get a little luck out of the way. Okay, maybe, is that a good cone? Oh, okay, that's a, a, a good abundance light cone. It gives you a F res. That's actually a, not a bad light cone. Okay, we got two little light cones, but in our very next 10 pull, we're at 20 pity now. We're at 20 pity. I'm gonna skip this one. Okay, we got a preservation light cone as a backup. It's time for 30. Oh, not early, not early. Okay, that's all right. I'm sorry this is happening to you. But well, we won the 50-50, so that's a win, right? Can't cry too much about it. What? Hello, Dan Hung, what are you doing on the banner here? What are you doing? Hey, this is the weapon banner. What are, you, what are you doing over here? 40 pulls in. Okay, we got a five star at 40 pulls. Maybe it's early and you're at like 30 something. What's the pity on this banner? 60? So we're 40 pulls in. This could be nice. We just got to pray a little bit. We just got to pray a little bit. Oh. Dude. That is a cracked light cone. That's the only thing I'll say is it's a very good light cone. It's a top tier light cone. So like, honestly, honestly, that's kind of a win. For Ting Yun, that's God tier. And if you ever get Bronia, that's God tier. This is, this is like, this is pretty God tier. But truly, and another perfect timing. All right, Epsilon, uh, what do you want to do now, brother? Jeez, you got another one of these. Go for the light cone. I have the stash. Are you sure? Because we can save it for a different character. Because you've got guaranteed weapon banner. Or, or light cone banner. 100% Gamba. <sighs> gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. He has decided to go for the, the light cone. <laughs> he has, he's decided to commit to the light cone. I don't think I could stop him. I don't think I could stop the guy if I wanted to. Lucky for me, I'm some sort of a gambler myself. And I happen to be quite lucky at this game called Honchai Star Rail. And with a single 10 pull, I'm able to get another five star light cone. Brothers, we're maxing it out. Early. Early. We got a March 7th. Please, early. Stop stalling. It's not my account. I don't want to ruin this guy's account. If he wants me to stop, I'm going to stop. I don't want to ruin his account, you dick. Ever thought of that? Are you happy with that? 
Bro, I am sorry! We're going kind of far into pity now. I feel bad. I feel, I feel bad. Please. Please don't make me rip off my shirt! Because I will. Don't make me rip off my shirt like my favorite streamer, Tectone! Oh god. Oh god. It's He's so gonna get banned, bro! Please! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Please! I'll do anything! I'll do anything! Please! I'll fucking do anything! I'll fucking do anything for Kafka! I'll do anything for Kafka! Oh my fucking god, please! Oh! Oh! I... I think I'm... I think I'm gonna... Come! Where the f*** is this light? Brother! Where's this light cone? Hello? Are you fucking kidding me, brother? What's the pity at? Like, 80? How far in are we? Oh my god! I'm gonna get cancelled! My gamer. What are you doing on the banner? I've done too many singles, I can't quit the singles. I have to commit with the singles. I have to just keep going. Yeah. Where is my luck? Oh my god! Hello? I thought I was further in. I thought I was, I thought I was further into pity. I'm not even happy about that. <laughs> Epsilon sitting here like fucking kidding me. For this? Whoa, 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 little jump, little jump scare there. Kafka zoomed in on me. Hello. All right, let's take a look at Fu Xuan right now. We have her light cone right now. That's exciting stuff. But I'm not sure if it's 100% necessary. She definitely scales with a max HP. And the energy regeneration is going to allow her to cycle and do some cool things, which we'll talk about later. The energy regeneration is, is very good. It's very strong. When the wearer's HP is reduced, she will also increase the damage dealt by all allies for 9%. And at the start of every wave, will restore HP to all allies by an amount equal to 80% of their respective lost HP. So this is is pretty interesting. She can she can probably sustain your team <laughs> like a healer at, at that point. So that, that's a very good light cone. As for her overall kit, let's talk about it. Let's talk about what she can do. She's got some really interesting things going for her. Uh, I'm a big fan. So number one, her damage does scale off max HP on her normal attack, which means you make her super tanky and she's still gonna get some uh, some damage. So that's pretty cool. Oddly enough, she has crit rate <laughs> uh, in her kit. This is unexpected to me, but if you're building a bunch of HP and you happen to land a crit here and there, that's cool. But I don't love this. I personally wish this was something else. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Maybe she'll hit hard, but but I, I don't love this. This is the one thing in her kit that I, I don't love it because there's, there's multiple. One, two, three, four, five. I would love more HP, but if you start adding this up, we got five, we got four, so we're at nine. We're at, let's say 13. Oh, there's, where's the other one? Yeah, we're like we're like 15% crit. Uh, actually, no, there's another one over here. Not bad. It's because of E6. Oh, is she is she like crit or something like that? Oh, I see. If you get her to E6, she can nuke, and that's probably why it's there. I see, so it's a little bit easier to build her maybe. Not happening today. So for me, for me, the crit stuff is, is a waste. The rest is just HP and F, as um, it is what it is, but let's look at her overall kit. Activates Matrix Appreciance with her skill. So this is her skill, uh, which other team members will distribute 65% of the damage they receive uh, before mitigation for many shields to Fu Xuan. That's, that's kind of a crazy amount of damage, 65%. While affected, all team members also get an increase to their max HP 
based on hers and an increase to their crit rate by 6%. That is nothing to sneeze at. Crit rate and max HP, we'll take that. On top of that, with her talent, while uh, Fushuan is active in battle, Misfortune Avoidance is applied to the entire team. All allies take 10% less damage, and this is gonna scale up. Uh, when her HP falls below 50%, she will also trigger a heal, restoring 81% of her HP uh, that she's currently missing. It cannot be triggered if she's dealt a killing blow, but uh, it can trigger two times, a maximum of two times. So you start the fight, it can trigger. If you ultimate, it will trigger again, or, or you can have another activation. Now, if you start the fight with an ultimate, you'll have two stacks, you get hit, you get like like hit really hard heal hit really hard heal so as long as you can cycle back to your ultimate i don't understand how she will die you can't get one shot if that's the case so she's gonna eat a lot of damage she's gonna be low hp that's gonna be juiced very very nice as for her ultimate deals quantum damage based on 60 percent of her max hp to all enemies and obtain uh one trigger count for the hp restore effect of her talent so she's just she's just tanking giving you some heals giving you some some crit Let's take a peek at these bad boys. This, this is what's gonna take her to the next level, all right? When Matrix of Prescience, Prescience is active, she will regenerate 20 extra energy when she uses her skill. So you're always gonna have your freaking alt. You don't have to worry about that. When your ultimate is used, it will also heal all other allies by an amount equal to 5% of her HP plus 133. Okay? Her sustain's gonna be crazy. If a target enemy applies crowd control debuffs to allies while Matrix is active, all allies will resist all crowd control debuffs applied. This can only be triggered once, but when it's activated again, the trigger amount is reset. Oh my god! That's nice. Alright, let's let's test her out. I wanna do I wanna do like the, the test run thing first, but then we're gonna actually level her up. We have enough resources to level her up. I just wanna see what they do in here. Yeah, so so. So if you, if you attack me, it won't actually do anything. It just blocks it. Do we care about that? Not really. So if you, if you use your talent to start the fight, I, I, I don't need to use it here if I don't want to. So if I wanted to be skill point friendly, I could just attack here. But because I have matrix activated, I can also use my skill and get 20 more energy. So this is going to hopefully give me a bunch, but I don't need to do this here. Oh my god, that's a chunk! That's a chunk of energy! Alright, I want to see the shield break. So this isn't a crazy amount. But I want to see her ultimate. I'm going to let them recover first. Because I want to see... Oh, this proct! Oh my god! Yo, that's sick! And so now, because she dropped her HP... If I ultimate again, I get another trigger of that. Okay, let me see this. Okay, so I can fully nuke their shield. I kind of expect it because it's an ultimate. And like, that's... That's not terrible. Not terrible. Good animation. So, I'm going to level her up right now. And we're going to test her and see how she performs. Leave it as it as is for now for your testing. Okay. So we can make her a little bit better. But this is a cracked Fushuan. This is E0, S0, or S1, or whatever you want to call it. This thing's maxed out. Her relics are insanely good. Do not expect these stats. This is almost the best relics I've ever seen. Look at this. Um, her helmet, increased speed, defense, HP percentage. We got the gloves here. All right. HP, defense, HP, defense, speed. Speed, defense, HP. This is, this is gross. HP percentage, defense with some crit damage. I mean, sure, why not? HP percentage with a bunch of defense. HP as well. These are cracked relics. Like even their defense is like pretty good. So I want to see if she can solo sustain. And what we're going to do is we're going to do essentially mono quantum. Let's see what happens here. I'm just going to auto it. I'm scared about my skill point economy. Let's see the heal. Full HP. So what's 5% of 10,000? We got, that's, it, isn't that, isn't that like, because 10% of 10,000 would be 1,000. So it's like 500, 
plus, so plus 133, so we're like a 600 HP heal. <laughs> That's how much my Natasha heals for fuck's sakes. <laughs> See, she's gonna heal like next turn. Alright, watch this heal. She heals herself to max almost. Oh my god. Oh, it's 656. Okay. I'm not crazy here and th I, I like she can solo sustain. You don't even need like a healer with her. All right, here we go. Get the heal going. I mean, my AI is dumb. The AI is stupid. Brothers, I feel like she's so good. That's 22 crit value on a, on max level. It might justify a crit damage chest piece on some DPS units. Yeah. Look at her E1. If her e E1 is even more broken, let me, let me see. I didn't even look at her Eidolons yet. The knowledge effect increases crit damage by 30 per A permanent 10% crit rate and a 30% crit damage buff. If any team member is struck by killing blow while Matrix is active, then all allies who are struck by killing blow during that action will not be locked down and 70% of the max HP is immediately restored. That is overkill. Do not get this. Gamers, do not get this. I'm telling you that's overkill. Is this going to be a little bit biased because she has such good gear? Yes. Yours might be like 6,000 HP, but I think she'll still do pretty good because the thing is, is I have so much HP. So, so this is like a God tier one. Right? Even if you had less HP, she would do almost the exact same thing because running around speed boots and, and the way she's 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 got her light going and everything, her ultimate gives her another stack where she 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 goes below 50% HP and she heals up like almost all the way. So it doesn't matter whether you have 9,000 or 7,000 or 8,000, she's gonna eat everyone's damage and that thing, that damage mitigation, bringing her down and then healing back up, it'll just proc a little bit more often. But I had two stacks a lot of the time. It was like hard for me to get down to, to 5,000 HP and then I would just max HP like heal. I I'm telling you, even a poorly built one is going to function and she's gonna be good. Again, she isn't fully maxed out. She get a little bit more crit rate, she can get some F res, but she is going to be crazy. She's gonna be super, super good. Now, my question is, is the Herd of Light Cone secretly good? I've never really taken this Light Cone seriously, but I'm wondering if maybe uh, it is. Increases your effect res by 8%. If the wearer is attacked and has no shield, they gain a shield equal to 16% of their max HP for two turns. It can only be triggered once every three turns. If the wearer has a shield when attacked, the damage they receive is decreased by 12%. Brother, she would never die! But do you want to get this and waste eight of these? Okay, that that's it would work. But hold on. Let me just see. Are there some light cones that maybe we could do uh, instead? Increase your defense. I mean, this one is is just like always pretty good. What about Landau? The wearer is more likely to be attacked and damage taken is reduced by 16%. Landau uh, would be very good. Uh, this one could work with Kafka as always. Hmm. Hmm. I, I, I think she works with four star light cones as well, though. I think she functions without her light cone. I think her light cone is good, though, because the ER. So it's got HP and it's got ER. Uh, I did notice that I wanted my ultimate a bit a little sooner. So, like, you might want an ER rope. You might want an ER rope even if you use this so you can spam the ultimate. If you want to do a solo sustain, you might want an ER rope. Here's my here's my, here's my my quick and dirty thoughts. My overall review after, after using this unit is she's cracked. <laughs> Her solo sustain capabilities are amazing. And I think that Mono Quantum is going to be the safest team there's ever been in Honkai Star Rail history. Because you don't have to worry about elements. You would have to really try hard to die. And because of the crowd control mitigation and Lynx's cleanse, you don't have to worry about damage over times. You don't have to worry about stuns uh, uh, of any sort. And for the most part, you can be very skill point positive. Um, you can force enemies to attack her, or her, whatever you want to point. You can force enemies to attack her with links. You can boost up her HP. She's boosting up crit. Like, brother, it's crazy. I think you can go into any fight with Mono Quantum and, and like, close your eyes.
she is definitely on par than uh, as Luocha. Um, Luocha's got some cleanses. He's got some heals. Um, Luocha's very, very good at solo sustain compared to, like, you know, some of the other healers. You know, I guess there is still one bang potential in, in some of the crazy, like, Torment Swarm stuff. But Fushuan, she mitigates one-shots. But she can't keep up the healing quite as much. But I think that's if we're looking at Memory of Chaos, right? In Memory of Chaos, there's going to be a buff of some sort that helps out your team. But if we look at something like Simulated Universe, you win. You win the game. It's fun. You're, you, 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 just, you just you win. There's so many ways to heal, get extra shields, do all these different things that in Memory of Chaos, you might have to think, in Simulated Universe, I think she could solo sustain with your eyes closed. If you're doing Abundance Path, it's literally impossible to die. You cannot lose. You, 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 it's an impossible. <laughs> Especially with how much HP she gains. Yeah, no one will get one, one banged. It's free. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you've been struggling with Memory of Chaos, or sorry, Simulated Universe. If you've, if you've been struggling with Simulated Universe, um, some of the harder ones, it's free. Um, it'll make your runs each week even easier. Um, as for or Memory of Chaos, very, very good as well. Pretty auto-friendly, but uh, I need her. I need her on my account because she will make me able to clear everything. I cannot wait to get her. I I must get her. I've only got 35 pulls. I'm at 40 penny, 40 pity, and I have to win the 50-50, and I have to somehow get links. There's also some events coming. There's the daily, the, the daily gems. I think I can do it. But for right now, my vote is if you don't have a good sustain character, I think she's probably worth the pull um, because sustain is one of the things that limits people's ability to do uh, memory chaos. I can't beat it because one of my terrible underbuilt supports dies and I just can't make it through uh, to get the full stars. Uh, I built too many DPS units because they're fun. <laughs> uh, but because of that, I cannot tank and heal enough to get through and this changes it. You might be in a similar situation as me. You've got all the damage in the world, but you need to live and get through. She fixes that. Luocha. If you don't have Luocha, also can fix that problem. Is also equally probably good. I'm not going to say get her over Luocha or anything like that. Uh, but if you've got a couple good DPS units, it's probably time to make your, your account uh, safer. Is, is, is most likely it. So I'm definitely pulling. And that's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.